So, the demo for Paleopines has released on the 19th of June, but you don't know what to do? Are lost? Or just want to make sure your brains are well equipped before you jump into Paleopines? Well, I got the video just for you! Hello humans and dinosaurs, this is Lofo, and today I will be guiding you on all you need to know about Paleopines before you step into the world of Paleopines. An exciting video game set in a prehistoric world filled with cute dinosaurs! Aww. In this guide, we'll walk you through the basics of the game, providing you with essential tips and strategies to help you get started on your journey in Paleopines. Before you start playing, make sure that the walk toggle is set to off. Walk is a feature you can use to walk slowly for cinematic purposes, in which your character will move very slowly. If the option is turned on, you can change walk to regular sprint by pressing control. Also, the demo for Paleopines will only last for 14 in-game days. The game operates on a time basis, so even if you don't sleep, if enough time passes, you will automatically get teleported to your house and it will turn morning. So, make sure to plan and spend your days in this prehistoric paradise wisely. Now, for some tips as a starter. Tip number one! Save stamina! Stamina in Paleopines is only recoverable by sleeping, or if it's a dinosaur, by feeding a poppin. Note that every dinosaur will have a desired flavor of poppin. Feeding your dino friend its desired poppin will completely replenish the stamina, or else an uh, undesired poppin will still give stamina but won't be as uh, effective. As slow as the run at the start may be, it's far more valuable to use the stamina at the start to farm or using the dinosaur's ability, which we'll get to later. Tip number two, tame dinosaurs. By day three, Lucky the Parasaurolophus will give you a flute, which you can use to impress wild dinosaurs and turn them into your poles. Make sure to grab their attention by holding the flute and pressing 111 in front of the wild dino. Once you got its attention, make sure to follow the dinosaur's song, feed and calm the dinosaur, and once the gauge reaches the green marker, feed it its desired poppin. Each dinosaur has a different desired food and poppin, so make sure to take notes. You'll sometimes see dinosaurs singing even if you don't hold the flute, but this has nothing to do with the befriending process and you can ignore them. Tip number three, how to turn dinosaurs into helpers. So you've tamed a dinosaur, but the dinosaur will not allow you to ride it or use its abilities. In order to do those things, you'll have to upgrade your dino from a friend to a helper. Each tamed dinosaur will start off with two heart layers and have either a red or green circle surrounding it. By keeping a dino happy during the green circle, the green circle will slowly fill up the gauge. There are a lot of things you can do to keep the dinosaur happy. Number one, feed it its preferred food. Feeding its favorite poppin will also make it happy, although this can get quite expensive. Number two, take it with you on a walk. Using a flute, you can command a dino to follow you around. Number three, visit the dinosaur's wild home. By taking a dinosaur to its original home in the wild, where you found him will give it a bit of happiness. Number four, flute song. By playing the dinosaur's friend song on the flute while you have its attention, you can make the dinosaur happier. Number five, pet the dino. Click while you're in front of your dino to pet it. You know, gives a bit of happiness. Number six, having a dreamstone. Having a dreamstone for that dino in its pen starts the green gauge. Every time you go to sleep, the point in the gauge will be tallied and the gauge will be reset. And by accumulating enough tallied green gauge, the dinosaur will become a helper the following day. A red circle means the dinosaur is unhappy, and once the dinosaur turns unhappy, it loses all the friendship gauge you've accumulated during the day. So, if you make it happy afterwards, you will have to regain its trust you've accumulated during that day. But, the tallied gauge from the previous day is still calculated within the game, so don't worry if your dino became unhappy overnight. However, if you keep a dinosaur unhappy and go to bed while it is in that state, it will slowly start off by downgrading itself from helper to a friend, which means no riding and no abilities if your dinosaur was a helper. And if it was a friend, it will leave your farm. But even if it does, rest assured that the dino is not lost forever. Go to Mary and she'll be able to track your dino friend down. You can find Mary's location by using the map. Tip number four, unhappy dinosaur? This can happen due to multiple reasons. Number one, did you give the dino enough food in its feeding trough? 
Number two, how is the pen? Did you accidentally remove the gate while expanding so the dino can't get out? Number three, dirty pen? Dinosaurs could have taken a poop in the cage, which you'll have to shovel out to keep them happy. Also, make sure to check the edges of your cage depending on your cage's position, because it is possible that your dino may have pooped in an area of the cage that you cannot access yet, so make sure it's fully caged in. Number four, no dreamstone? A dinosaur will not be happy without a dreamstone. Tip number five, make sure to tame a Styracosaurus. While playing the game, the game will bottleneck you to a point where taming a Styracosaurus is necessary to continue. By the time you realize this and try to befriend a Styracosaurus, it may be too late to explore the rest of the game. This brings us to tip number six, dinosaur abilities. Every dino has two abilities, such as running, digging, farming, and watering. Using these abilities will cost you stamina, so beware. Tip number seven, dinosaur sleep quests. Sometimes you might get a quest that tells you to research a wild dinosaur. You can research dinosaurs only after you've befriended them or when they are asleep. You could wait for the dinosaur to go asleep naturally, or you can manually put wild dinosaurs to sleep by boring them by going into taming mode and instead of feeding the dino, calming it down until it goes to sleep. Tip number eight, dreamstones. There is only a finite amount of them in game and some are pretty well hidden. These are the locations you can get dreamstones before you unlock a rock smasher mount such as a Styracosaurus. Tip number nine, split resources. You can actually split resources by holding control and scrolling up and down to move items one at a time. You can also hold control and left click the stack to move half of the items in the stack. With this beginner's guide, you should now have a solid foundation to start your adventure in Paleopines. Remember to explore, gather resources, do quests, and befriend dinosaurs while immersing yourself in the rich prehistoric world and enjoy the countless possibilities that await you in Paleopines. If you found these tips helpful, leave a like and comment if you have any other tips. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps even subscribe! May the Jurassic's trip with you. Bye bye